according to these media reports, Pakistan calling for a review of all military and political arrangements with the U.S. and NATO. If so, how potentially damaging is this, particularly as it pertains to the U.S. and NATO arrangement on the fight against terrorism? Well, Frederica, I think it could be quite damaging. As Razor said in his report, 40 percent of material uh, destined for Pakistan, uh, for Afghanistan, transits Afghanistan. Now, at the beginning of the year, that number was more like 75 percent. So the Pentagon has been, and the U.S. government in general, has been making alternative arrangements, uh, what they call the Northern Distribution Network, which basically goes through Russia and Central Asia in order to make uh, the NATO-U.S. effort in Afghanistan less dependent on the Pakistan overland route and also the Pakistan air corridor. Um, so that's one area that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, 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 it could, even mm -hmm. though there have been changes in the way these, um, this material has been going over the border, uh, Pakistan still has a very substantial ability to cut down on those, uh, those transits. Um, another area that Pakistan's, Pakistanis could look at is the uh, area of CIA drone strikes in Pakistan, which are done with um, essentially the acquiescence or the, uh, of the Pakistani government. Indeed, there is a air, uh, U U.S. air base in southwestern Pakistan where some of these drones take off. Um, uh, the drones are very unpopular, as you, I'm sure you know, Frederica, in Pakistan, uh, the drone attacks. And um, they could say, hey, we're just got, not going to countenance these anymore. Um, so... You know, that, that also would have an effect. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Peter, shutting down these NATO supply routes that you underscored and Reza was also talking about, this sounds like punishment, not necessarily review. Well, I mean, the Pakistanis have done it before uh, when, I mean, and uh, I mean, they have every reason to be quite angered by this incident. Uh, it's not the first time it's happened. Um, and uh, this is one of the ways that they can put pressure on the United States mm -hmm. to you know, to make sure it doesn't happen again or to investigate what happened. Um, but, you know, typically these shutdowns have happened for, you know, uh, a day or two. Uh, you, you'll, you know, we'll see pictures of hundreds of lorries backing up at the border uh, because hundreds go over, go over every day as this thing continues. Uh, but also, Frederica, the context of all this is that, um, you know, this has been the worst year for U.S.-Pakistani relations, I think, in memory. It began with the uh, Raymond Davis, the CIA contractor, shooting Pakistani, uh, two Pakistanis in Lahore in the middle of the day in January. Um, the U.S. government said a lot of conflicting things about what, he, what his job was and finally admitted what was painfully obvious from the beginning, which is that he was working for the CIA. Uh, then you had the Osama bin Laden raid in Abdabad, which uh, you know, we, the United States chose not to give the Pakistanis a heads up about that. Uh, and they were very angry uh, about that, uh, particularly in the context of the fact that we've been promising some kind of strategic partnership with them. And, and then people came and the U.S. government came out and said they couldn't be trusted. Hence, uh, they, they were not given a heads up about the bin Laden raid. So, so what this incident today is just, uh, you know, it, it's part of a pattern of incidents which have angered the Pakistanis mm -hmm. and which have contributed to the fact that this is one now one of the most anti-American countries in the world. And the last poll... Uh, that I saw, the favorable views of the United States were around 12%, so, you know, close to zero in oh. Pakistan right now. 